The Quai du Louvre at the River Seine in Paris around 1880 was once the location of one of history's most haunted tales. According to historians at the time, witnesses were alarmed by the presence of a young woman's body seen floating in the Parisian river. Despite the efforts of several strangers who jumped in to try and save the poor woman, her fate was already sealed and pathologists documented her death as drowning by way of suicide. News of her death spread quickly, and crowds of people passing by gathered to get a glimpse of the body, due to the nature of her demeanour. Her body was cold and lifeless, but her face looked peaceful, almost as if her passing was painless and of no discomfort. Even in death, her serene appearance gained attention from a passing mortician who at the time ordered for the body to be stored and a plaster cast to be taken of her face. Once moulded, artists and poets gathered to get a copy of the sculpture, with the famous philosopher and author Albert Camus describing her as the drowned Mona Lisa. The woman became a cultural icon overnight. Half a century later, after her story gained notoriety, Le Conyu transformed into something larger than her death, with the help of a man who was born decades after she died. His name was Asmund Leodal, a toy manufacturer from Norway. His latest toy, the Andal, was selling on a mass scale, and demand was high for his work. In a bizarre twist of fate, just a few years prior to Asmund's Andal creation, Leodal's two-year-old son Torre almost drowned. If it wasn't for his father's quick thinking, perhaps this story would have taken an even darker turn. The Andal continued to gain popularity, so much so that an Austrian physician, Peter Safar, reached out to Leodal to find out if they could use the dummy as some sort of CPR test to save people with resuscitation. Due to Leodol's son Torre's close encounter, they found an attentive, receptive listener. Leodol was set a challenge by Safar, for a toy maker used to making small toy cars and playthings, it was a challenge in itself. But now he was to make a realistic, functional mannequin, one that could demonstrate reliably the technique of CPR and more importantly, have a human face. Tasked with this new doll, Asmund went home and he recalled the peaceful, serene face of the poor girl who drowned, believing that she would be perfect for his new creation. Her face was a perfect match for the doll, as fitting as it may seem that a dead woman's unfortunate end would continue to this day to be the face of such a device to save lives unlike her own. To this day, Le Conyu's face features on life-saving devices, so the next time you practice CPR on a dummy, remember her face, as it could well be that of Le Conyu, the drowned woman of the Seine.